That was Texas Governor Greg Abbott being booed at the Robb Elementary School Memorial Site in Uvalde, Texas, less than a week after the mass shooting took place. Now, his constituents absolutely have a right to be angry. And Greg Abbott should feel bad because before he signaled his intent to do something, because I'm sure by now he knows that the blood is on his hands because he's enabled this with his laws. But each time he's had an opportunity to actually do the right thing, what did he do? Well, like the coward that he is, he refused to act and rather than doing any gun reform at all, he signed laws that expanded gun ownership even more. So as the Texas Tribune explains, when a then 17-year-old student killed 10 people and injured 13 more in an art classroom in Santa Fe near Houston in 2018, Abbott called on state lawmakers to consider a red flag law that would allow state courts to take firearms away from a person who presents a danger to themselves or others. Seems reasonable, right? A few months later, he then backed away from the idea after Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick and gun rights activists drew a hard line against it. The state ended up passing laws more focused on boosting mental health resources and giving teachers more access to guns on public school campuses. In August 2019, after 23 people were killed by an avowed racist at an El Paso Walmart, and then a few weeks later, seven more people were killed in a shooting spree in Midland and Odessa, Abbott and Patrick discussed expanding background checks to include stranger to stranger gun sales by the end of the next legislative session in 2021 patrick had gone silent on the issue and the legislature instead passed a bill long sought by gun rights advocates that allows texans to openly carry a handgun without a permit so that right there is why his constituents are angry that's why they're calling him a murderer that's why they're saying he has blood on his hands that's why they're booing him because He's had opportunities to take action. He knows what needs to be done, but he's gone in the opposite direction. And that's not all that he did. We're not even scratching the surface. In that same 2021 legislative session, this is what he passed. Abbott signed the Second Amendment Sanctuary Act, which forbids local agencies from enforcing new federal gun rules. Further, government agencies in the state, including cities, counties, and school districts, are banned from signing contracts with businesses that discriminate against the firearm industry. So every single person, their right to boo him. If I were in Texas, I would be booing him too because, you know, for him to show up for this photo op after he enabled this with the blood on his hands, I mean, it's it's ridiculous. He should be ashamed to show his face, but he's brazen. And uh, they also, uh, just last year, in the same 2021 legislative session where they drastically expanded uh, gun ownership, even for crazy people, uh, they made it so that way you can buy a gun or get a gun license if you're 18 instead of 21. Now, you have to prove that you're in a situation where you have to protect yourself if, for example, you are in a domestic abuse situation, but it's the state of Texas, so nobody expects the regulations to be stringent at all. And that law in particular specifically allowed the shooter to legally purchase a gun because just days after he turned 18, that's what he did. He bought an AR-15. His laws enabled the mass shooting. That's a fact. Now, it's not just that he should be booed, when he talks about this issue or confronted when he holds press conferences about gun violence in his state, everywhere he goes, he should be protested. You know how Ted Cruz last week was confronted by someone in a restaurant? That should happen every single time. These Republicans should not be allowed to show their faces in public without a citizen politely confronting them because what they've done has enabled mass death in this country. Now, to be fair, it's not just Greg Abbott. Other politicians from Texas have done the same thing. Ted Cruz, but the representative of that district, Representative Tony Gonzalez, a Republican, he won't even answer the question as to why he thinks it's permissible for an 18-year-old to be able to buy a gun when you can't even purchase alcohol legally in the state of Texas. Take a look. You can't buy a beer when you're 18 years old. Why do you need to be able to buy an assault rifle? You know, I think part of the conversation, we have to be unified. This country is not unified. I want to go back to my original question. Why does an 18-year-old in Texas need to be able to buy an assault rifle? The reality is this isn't a new topic. There has been a lot of legislation that's been out there. You haven't answered my question, though. Why does an 18-year-old need an AR-15 in the state of Texas? So this is how the legislative process works, is Congress determines the laws. Right now, we have a Congress that won't talk to one another. There's so much rhetoric and hate. So in the state of Texas, you can't legally purchase alcohol until you're 21. Uh, you can't even purchase legal weed in the state ever, but yet you can purchase a gun when you turn 18. 
And there are literally laws on the book that prevent discrimination against the gun industry. But yet this is the pro-freedom state? Are you serious? Absolute insanity. Now, I don't expect any state or federal action. Right now, Congress is literally on vacation for Memorial Day. They have the week off. Isn't that insane to you? After a mass shooting, they're all taking a break when they should be acting right now. Now that there's momentum, now that there's a sense of urgency, they should be acting, but they're on a recess. Isn't that insane? Now, I don't expect action, as I stated, but I do want to leave you with a little bit of hopium. So at the NRI convention that took place just days after the shooting, there were thousands and thousands of people gathered outside of the convention center and they had a very strong message to these politicians who continue to take this blood money from the NRA and the gun industry, more broadly speaking. But take a look. This video was shared from David Hogg. And um, hopefully this puts a smile on your face because this is the one thing that gave me a little bit of hope, you know, after that horrible week where we were all trying to deal with this horrific tragedy.